bystanders had to be moved away from the scene for their own safety. Eventually, firemen got the blaze under control, and we actually found a couple of men on the scene who broke into the home to try and put the fire out themselves. I went to see if anybody was in the house, you know what I'm saying? Did I kicked in the back door, went in. And nobody was in there, so I came out. Me and old boy tried to put out the fire with some pillows and some water from the faucet, but it wouldn't fill up fast enough. Then it just went ablaze. It was just the flames coming out the side. Out the side of the house right there. And I uh, went around there and tried to find some water, but the water's off evidently. So I took a bar and knocked the door in and stopped the lady. She called 911. Kind of scared, worried about this, or you just kind of take oh, charge? Somebody was up in there, and that was scared me the most. That's why I hit that door. I tried to break windows. Your first name and last name? Oh, oh. Oh, that was Ethel Mitchell. I pulled away from the debris that was shot out at us. It's one of the hazards of reporting at an active fire scene. The fire crew's hose actually blasted out a side window of the home as they fought the fire, and that's what showered us with glass and that foamy water. Now, as far as the house fire itself, no one was home at the time. Investigators say that it started next to the stove, and perhaps someone put out some cigarette butts into a trash can. 